When it comes to religion in Cuba, Catholicism isn't the only game in town. Meet the women of Cajon de Jamil. They're dancing in a ritual celebration of Santeria, an Afro-Cuban religion often overlooked by authorities that has nonetheless widespread influence across the island. As all eyes focus on the Pope's visit and his work with the Catholic Church, it's Afro-Cuban religion and traditions that many say should instead be more fully recognized. And this mural here is inspired by the secret society Abacua. They are not just about this tradition, about the Cuban black heritage. Sometimes we have not enough spaces to recognize the importance of this tradition. This week, Pope Francis traveled to eastern Cuba, a poor, more isolated region where Afro-Cuban traditions are more widespread. And yet the papal itinerary makes no mention of Santeria or meetings with Afro-Cuban religious leaders. We don't need the recognition of the Pope. I think uh, this is a tradition of the Cuban people. Largely brought to Cuba by way of the transatlantic slave trade, those traditions include animal sacrifice, as well as ritual drumming, dancing, and singing. And those like Elias Asef say he's working to educate outsiders as well as government authorities, which still restricts Santeria in Cuba. Do you, you get the sense that there's still a lot of misunderstanding about not only its culture but the religion that's tied to it? Of course, we still have our mind colonized mm. and we are still working using the European model mm. or uh, code. Right. You know, and this tradition, because they don't know about this tradition, mm -hmm. because people don't know about this tradition, they still regard this culture as witchcraft, black magic, something negative. The Vatican says about 60% of Cubans are Catholics, but being Catholic in Cuba doesn't necessarily mean only Catholic. Here, someone can go to a Catholic church in the morning, in the afternoon to a different church, and in the evening to a Santeria dance. And so as the pontiff finishes his tour, a lingering question remains. Will Pope Francis's visit truly resonate with Cubans in how they actually practice their religion? <laughs> David Ariosto, Al Jazeera, Havana, Cuba.